Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Hey, guys, welcome. We'll get started shortly. Hey, Juan, welcome, Juan, welcome. Hey, Mary, welcome, Mary. Hi. Hello. Hey, Bill, welcome, Bill. Hey, dude. Hello. Hey, Carlos, welcome, Carlos, welcome. Hello. Hi, shortly. Hello. Hey, Gerald, welcome, Gerald, welcome. Hope everyone had a great weekend. Guys, we'll get started shortly. We have lots of information to go over this evening. Oh. Going to go over Forex, uh, crypto, and the futures market. Uh, we'll get started shortly, guys. We'll get started shortly. Mm -hmm. Hey, Charity, welcome, Charity, welcome. Guys, we'll get started shortly. Forex, uh, cryptos, and the futures market, futures market. We'll get started shortly. Hope everyone had a good weekend. Hope you're ready for a new week. Lots going on in the market. We'll get started shortly. Get Forex crypto and uh, futures this evening. Forex crypto and the futures this evening. Hey, Frankie, welcome, Frankie. Glad Hello. Get Hello. Uh -huh. Hey, Tracy, welcome, Tracy, welcome. Hey, David. Hello. Guys, we'll get started shortly. Forex crypto and the futures market this evening. Lots of information to go over. Hey, Gerald. Welcome, Gerald. Welcome. Guys, uh, let's go ahead and get started. We have a lot of information to go over. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go through the markets. All right. I'm going to share my screen here. Uh, if you guys do not see my screen, please let me know. All right. So... All right, so you guys should see my screen here. Should say Monster Futures. All right, this is an important week. All right, guys, every week is important, but um, this week in particular is an important week. All right, we've seen some movement in the market. Um, I send out a message today that we we get a lot of volatility in the markets. It's good when we get vol. Hey Stella, welcome. It's good when we get volatility in forex. Not not good when we get volatility um, in the um, in the equity markets, the stock markets. Okay, so I'm going to go through what's going on in the markets, and then we'll open up uh, the floor uh, for any questions or any trades you guys want to take a look at. Okay, 
Um, equity traders or stock traders, all right? Especially, I want you guys to pay attention to this, okay? So our stock traders, those of you who trade stock boss, bull master, um, even sniper, all right? So even, even sniper, all right? We want to pay close attention. And then our Forex traders, we want to pay close attention. As a matter of fact, even our crypto traders, just everything in general, we've seen, a, we've seen some breakdown here. All right? So let's go ahead and get started. All right? The equity markets, so the stock market, right now, the futures are down. All right, the futures are down and it's down pretty big, right? Not major, but the NASDAQ is down about a, a 1%. That's big for the NASDAQ. The Dow is down um, 218 points, okay? And um, what I want to show you guys is this, and we'll get back to the futures market here. Um, the Dow S&P right? The Dow, S&P, and NASDAQ all gave a sell signal, guys. All right? So the Dow, S&P, NASDAQ all gave a sell signal on the daily time frame on Friday. All right? So let me repeat, the Dow, the S&P, and the NASDAQ all gave a sell signal to close, to be out of stocks, all right? The Russell's is still holding. We do not have a, a, a sell signal on the Russell yet, but we got a white candle and it, it's right there at support. If we get some selling tomorrow, Monday, we should get a sell signal on the Russell. We already have sell signals on the 240, all right? So this is a big change. Right, we had sell signals on the 240. Right, we were hoping that we would get buy signals, we would recover, get buy signals on the 240. That did not happen. All right, that did not happen. So, we have sell signals on the indexes the Dow, SP, NASDAQ. All right, so um, be very, very careful. Okay. Look to trim positions, all right? Look to trim positions. If, if your positions are healthy, right? If they're clearly in the markup phase, you should be fine. But if you're getting, if you're getting especially stock boss, bull master traders, if you guys are, have white candles, all right? You might want to trim positions or just close positions. If you have a red candle, definitely get out. All right. Sell signal, we know we know already to close positions. Okay. So again, it's down in it was down on Friday. So much so we have sell signals all well, three of the four indexes closed, and we're down again in the futures market. Okay, so be be very, very careful. Sniper trader is, is usually can be used as a barometer. When we see option flows, either long or short calls or puts, that will give us a really good clue as to what's happening. With our sniper traders, you guys know we've got shorts. So on Monday, we, we got shorts. We went, we went short on all three of the, the, the stocks which we trade, all right? In sniper, we went short. And what that tells us is that the, the, the option traders are heavy, okay, to the downside for the market to go lower, okay? So keep that in mind, keep that in mind, okay? So again, those of you who trade stocks, right? Especially our stock boss and bull master, pay close attention to your trades um, tomorrow morning, all right? Tomorrow morning, all right? Don't just close everything. I know Stella had a, a trade last week, was holding really nice in that markup phase. All right. Even on Friday, it was holding up really nice. So you're going to have stocks that even with when the market comes down like this will hold. So don't just close all your trades. 
Look at each of your trades individu individually and evaluate those trades, okay? All right. So that's what's going on with the equity markets, all right? I want to show you guys what's going on with crypto, and then we'll, we'll, we'll go with, um, uh, we'll move towards uh, Forex. We did get a sell signal. Now, you guys know, all right, you guys know we've had, hey, Robert, welcome. You guys know we've had um, red candles, right? Red candles on the on 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 Bitcoin. All right. We did not get a sell signal on Bitcoin until I think Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday of last week. All right. To close that long position. But we should have been out of out of Bitcoin because we had a red candle and it had been consolidating for a bit. All right. We are back at 20,000, Bitcoin 20,000. All right, so I'm gonna move this here. Just follow me for a second, all right? We're gonna put it back on the daily time frame, all right? And we're gonna bring in our buy signal just so you guys can see what's happening. And you guys know, Bitcoin, we use Bitcoin as the barometer for the entire crypto market. So as Bitcoin goes, so will the other crypto out there. All right. So here was our buy signal. Follow me. This is important. All right. Here was our buy signal right here, guys. Right here. Right. We were testing this resistance. It failed. Right. This is on the daily time frame. All right, fail. We got a red candle right here. And we said, okay, we got a red candle, get out. All right, but this is what happened on Friday. All right, Bitcoin broke this support. Here is support right here, guys. Here is your support right here. This right here, all this right here is support. Bitcoin broke support. We got a sell signal right here. So we should be totally, totally, totally out. Hey, Corey, welcome. All right, we should be totally out. All right, that's it. We should be out. Bitcoin is in trouble again. All right, so fail to break resistance right here. So now we look for Bitcoin to test that 20,000 mark again. All right. Hey, Kawisi, welcome. All right. So let's do this. So a lot's going on in the market. In every single market, as a matter of fact. All right. So guys here on the weekly time frame, there is Bitcoin on the weekly time frame. All right, here is our short sell short signal that's still in place. All right. Here is our sell short signal right here. This is on the weekly time frame. All right. This came in right at about 35,000. And here we are now. This is on the weekly time frame at 20,000 right here. Here's the price right here. All right, we are looking at a break of this. And look here, guys. Fail to get above this resistance. Now testing support right here. Okay, this support right here is about 19,500. 19, All right, if it breaks this support right here, that's redistribution. And we're going lower. We are definitely going lower. All right if it breaks that resistance. So this is important. Hey, Carl, welcome, Carl. All right. What's up? Hello. All right. So the next target we've got, all right, is at 10,000. Now, that doesn't mean it's, it's a guarantee that it will get there. But guess what? If we break this support, we will see a lot of selling come in. All right. If we break this support right here we've been there before right now if we get here get below twenty thousand convincingly 
then the next target is about 10,000 right here. All right. I know it's hard to believe, but it was hard to believe that when we were at 69,000, that we would get all the way down here. All right. The next, if we get to 10,000, so it's too early, right? It's too early, right? To call that, but the next target, if we get to 10,000, the next target is about 5,000, all right, on Bitcoin. All right, so here, uh, let's see here, right here on 4,500, right, is the next area, big area of support. So 10,000 is our big area, all right? The next big support area is 5,000, okay? So that's when Bitcoin consolidated in here for a bit, traded between support and resistance. You guys see that here, okay? And then finally broke out here. So this area in here, is a big area. So if Bitcoin gets to that area, we might get some consolidation in here between 10,000, right? And about 5,000. Okay, so 5,000 range right here. Too early for that. Too early, but that's what could happen here. The sellers are definitely in control, right? They're definitely in control. We're in the markdown phase. We're getting lower highs. Look here. All right, lower highs, lower lows. All right, lower lows, lower highs. All right, but this area here, lower lows. All right, this area here, 20,000, and it is right here, all right, is the key. And guess what? The others will follow. Ethereum, Litecoin, all the others will follow, okay? So just be careful trading cryptos, okay? Just be careful. Um, definitely selling is back in, right? Selling is back in and we are moving lower, all right? All that's bad news, right? Unless you short, unless we go in short. But here's the good news here. All right, I, before I get with to Forex, I wanna show you guys this. Um, this is the Dow. All right, this is the Dow. It's on a weekly time frame. All right, on a weekly time frame. And here, if you guys know, especially for our equity traders, our stock traders, this big weak candle here, this was last week, a lot of selling. Okay, whenever we get, whenever we get selling, all right, whenever we get a, a red candle after green candles here, all right, that's not good. All right, whenever we get red candles in particular, that's not good, okay? So we got a red candle. We were hoping that we would continue green candles, perhaps get up in this area here, retest the highs and then move higher, all right? But this is a major concern right here. So we'll see how we open up and we finish up in the week, okay? We, we could have this happen. A lot, a lot of buying would have to happen to move us back up, okay? So just be careful, right? Red candle right here on the weekly time frame on the Dow, all right? Okay. Any questions on any of this so far? Any questions, guys, on any of this so far? This is important. All right. Things are moving differently right now. All right. Any questions? Okay. Hey, David, hey David where would the support be on this uh, weekly uh, pr uh, price chart here? Oh, good question, Gerald. All right. On the um, support on the weekly would be right here. Oh, and I'm glad you mentioned that, okay? So this area here would, and we'll leave this, we'll leave the daily, the weekly chart up, all right? Now, this is not, this is the diamonds, 
okay? So the DIA, which represents the Dow, okay? And we could trade for you guys that are trading, um, um, I think Kyle, you trade options a, a lot. Um, you guys can look for puts, okay? So you can use the diamonds, okay? The QQQ might be setting up, all right? The Qs might be set for the NASDAQ, might be setting up a similar, in a similar fashion, all right? But here, resistance, resistance, all right? Right here. Coming down becomes support. So this area right here, this area right here, and now this area right here. Okay, so Gerald, this is it. This is your support right here. All right, again, this is the diamonds, but it's gonna show the same thing on the Dow. Okay, same thing. Okay, thank you. Uh-huh, so what we could see happen, this red candle, we could see that, we could see some selling come in this week and perhaps next week and to retest this support. If we retest this support, then we could get a break kind of like this right here, but with a lot of selling coming in, all right? Traders are watching these levels here, that level right here, this low right here, traders are watching this right here. So if we, if we break, right, if we break, we could go a lot lower. We get a lot of panic selling, all right? So just pay attention to this, all right? Pay attention to this. It is, it is a, it, it's, I wouldn't say it's a major concern, uh, you know, but it is a concern, right? It is a concern. And we see in, in the futures market, uh, we see selling come in, all right? And you know, with Sniper Trader, we saw a lot of options, option activity on the short side, right? To go down, lower down, all right? So just, just, like I said last week, this is not the time to take a vacation, right? And if you guys, are, if, you're, if, you, if you switch your hat, right? If you switch things from long to short, you might actually make some money and do really, really well, okay? Especially for those of you who, you know, I think Bill, you're trading, you, you, you're in Sniper and, I, and you're taking some um, other individual trades, okay? So yeah. those of you who are, have been trading puts, getting you know getting your feet wet with puts on the short side this might be a really good opportunity all right even if we got from here if we from here to here that's a pretty decent move and if we break further that could be really good for you guys longs stay, stay on the sidelines those of you who've been trading biotech right technology right just just be careful all right, we are starting to see a rotation in energy. So in energy stocks, that might be an, uh, an, a play to go long. All right, all right. So just be on, on the alert uh, this week. All right, all right. I'll leave this here for now. Okay, the dollar. We've been talking about the dollar. We've been trading the dollar, all right? And I know we've gone through this before, but it's, it's good to keep going through this stuff so that we don't miss any opportunities, all right? This was the previous buy signal here on a break of this resistance right here, back in 2014. Pretty good move all the way up here, all right? And you guys notice here, this is a monthly time frame. So we always show this here where every month the price held, the buyers held, 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 held all the way up. Now we've, this is our, I think this is our fourth rotation in the dollar. We started trading the dollar from right here. This is on the monthly time frame, right here, right? We traded it all the way up. All right, we had some pullbacks, but for the most part, we traded it all the way up. We broke resistance. We got a buy signal here. The same thing what happened here is happening here. Okay, so we can even start from here. Here, here, 
See the bias holding, kind of held here. All right, held here, held here, right? And now we are closing the month. We have, have a few days left for the month. And guess what? We are closing at the high. All right, we are closing at the high. That's good for the dollar to get some follow through on the dollar. Those of you, and I know the dollar pulled back a bit last week. All right, you guys should have taken some profits. Okay, you should have taken some profits, but guess what? You need to wait for new signals. Here is the dollar right here. In the futures market, it's currently up. It's on the daily time frame. We are watching this area right here. We just saw the monthly, guys. We saw the, just the monthly time frame. Here we are right now, sitting right at resistance with a buy signal right here looking to break resistance right here. And if the market goes lower, if the market goes lower, guess what? The dollar will move higher, all right? We also have here the VIX. I forgot about the VIX. The VIX, guys, look at this. We got a green candle in the VIX. We have more volatility, all right, into the equity markets. It's at 25. It's at 25. As the VIX moves higher, equities will come down. Guess what? The dollar will go higher. All right? So those of you who are trading Forex, right? And in particular, Monster Scalper, we really want to pay close attention to the dollar pairs. I know they pull back. I know you guys, um, you got some sell signals on them. Right, but stay with them. USD HUF held. All right, I think USD PLN closed right here. This was an opportunity to take some profits, but look here, green candles coming again. All right, so wait for your buy signals. USD CNH, look at that. All right, moving higher this evening. USD CZK. Right, closed, guess what? Got a new candle, green candle again, all right? So the dollar's moving up, Zaw, dollar Zaw, closed, but guess what? Might have another opportunity to here to get in again. USD, I know some of you traded USD SEK, all right? You might get another opportunity here with the buy signal here. USD DKK, same thing here. You see what's happening, all right? You see, guys, see what's happening here right, with these dollar pairs, all right, USD SGD, look at here, closed here, took some profits, and guess what, you're going to get a buy signal anytime, all right, that might happen overnight, all right, I want to take a look at one more thing, I know this is stock, and it, I know this is you know, Forex, cryptos, and futures, but with what's going on, we want to pay close attention to our equities, okay, our equities trades, okay, so not a lot of action in stock boss, all right, uh, let's see here, I'll come, usually, you know, we get a lot more um, stocks in bull master, okay, so just be careful, all right, so I'm going to open up the floor, all right, I'm going to open up the floor, all right. Any questions on anything? Any symbols you guys want to take a look at? Any symbols you guys want to take a look at? Any stocks? Okay, while you're thinking about it. This is where the sectors closed on Friday, all right? This is where the sectors closed on Friday. And just interrupt me if you guys have any questions, all right? This is biotech here, all right? See what we got here in biotech? We have a, a white candle here. If selling comes in tomorrow, we're going to get a sell signal to be out of biotech. 
Now we know we should be out. We got a sell signal on the Dow, the S&P and the NASDAQ. All right. Those of you trading biotech, watch this. All right. It was down 5%. So biotech was down 5% on Friday. Technology. All right. Technology gave us sell signals. A sell signal. Those of you who were trading technology stocks, really pay attention to your technology stocks tomorrow. If you did not on Friday. All right, we have a sell signal here on technology stocks. All right. I know we're not in home builders, but look at the theme here. Sell signal, red candle in home builders. Home builders, construction, red candle, sell signal here to be out. And these are your big, these are your big sectors now. All right. We talked about technology, red candle, sell signal to be out. Consumer discretionary, white, white candle here. We get a sell, we get a red candle tomorrow. We're gonna get a sell signal. Industrial. All right. And industrial have been doing well. Big white candle. So the market is changing guys things are changing all right so we need to switch hats all right if we get a, a red candle tomorrow we will get a sell signal to get out of industrials all right financials same thing all right services sell signal to be out materials okay Big white candle, we get a red candle tomorrow. Guess what? We're going to get a sell signal if it breaks this support right here. Remember, if it breaks support, we're going to get out. We have to get out. Healthcare. So, healthcare, biotech, get a sell signal on Thursday to be out right here. Look what happened on Friday. Pay attention to this stuff, guys. All right. Don't just buy and hold your positions all right consumer staples red candle will get a sell signal tomorrow if the selling continues all right real estate same thing red candle telecom all right telecom is the only one that's holding so far utilities another one that's holding but guess what Resistance is right here. Right up here is where we have resistance. All right. Right here is where we have resistance. And guess what? Sellers are sitting right here. All right. Right here. And guess what? Good chance that this could come back down. And then energy. We'll look for energy, right? Look at energy is holding really nicely. All right, we're starting to see some energy stocks come in in heat seeker. So this might be the only play long. So those of you who trade stock boss, bull master, all right, we'll be talking, look, all right? Look for your, your, look through your heat seeker, all right? And look for, look for energy stocks in heat seeker, all right? And follow the same process. We wanna go through that markdown phase, right? Markdown phase. Okay, accumulation, markup phase, buy signal. Okay, so energy is looking good. All right, but still be careful. All right, any questions on any of this? I'm surprised you guys don't have any questions with all of this going on. No questions, guys? All right, I'm going to call on some folks. Okay, let's see here. All right. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Tracy, what are you trading right now, Tracy? Uh, I'm looking at, I'm in USD CAD right now. USD CAD. Dollar CAD? Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, you don't have a buy signal yet. Good price. What time frame are you trading on? 
Hold on, D240. The 240, okay. Yeah. I would wait. You're, you're a bit early. I know the price is moving higher, but okay. you don't have a buy signal yet, okay? Okay. So just, that's, that's the only thing. Just wait for that buy signal, okay? Okay, okay. Are you anything else? No. No, okay. It's, guys, it's good to wait on the sidelines too when the market is like this, all right? It's good to, okay, so Tracy, that's good, right? It's good to be on the sideline also, okay. all right? There'll, there'll be a time to, to get heavy, all okay. right? All right, so good job. Um, just watch your, your, your signals. Um, let's see, how about you, Bill? What, are you trading anything, Bill? I've just got my positions in Sniper right now. I'm not okay. in a, a Forex at all. I'm waiting on the sideline. Okay. Okay. Good, 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 good. Um, wait for those buy signals. Okay. So um, on the dollar, uh, that's the best trade right now. You guys might be able to find some individual trades, but as far as the overall big trade, um, definitely the dollar. Um, on your Sniper trades, we got three shorts. So um, with the market, Right with the few like right now the Dow is down. Look at that, almost three hundred points down on the Dow. Okay, so as a matter of fact, right, we want we we really want. I'm sorry, our stock boss and bull master traders, right, but we we do want um, this market to move lower, at least for Monday. All right, because what we want to was sniper trade. So build your 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 puts that you're in. All right, we we need this market to close lower um in the morning. Uh, so those puts will do well. Last week we did pretty good, right? With sniper. Yep, right. yep. Yeah, we did we did really good with sniper. Um, as as a whole, we're doing really good with sniper, but we need some big wins with sniper. So um we win three shorts and hopefully it will it will it will gap down we like we like to see this market gap down pretty big and then we'll we'll take some profits okay um david just for clarification the markets will be closed a week from tomorrow right for the holiday i don't even know i don't keep track of holidays <laughs> um um which holiday is that it'll be labor day labor day um, it's usually closed on on the on the on the big holidays. Yes, right. yes. Um, but it will be open tomorrow. It'll definitely be open tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. All right. So just um, Bill, stay close. Right. Stay close. Um, and wait for the for the alerts. We'll be all over it. Okay. Yep. All right. Good yep. job. Um, let me see here. All right. Um. Uh, let's see who else. Call this. Are you in any positions? Why did I know you was going to call me? <laughs> no, I'm not in anything. Oh, good. I was in, yeah, I was in some, some stuff last week and I got out of it. I got a cell signal or whatever. Mm. So I got out of it. Yeah. And that was like late in the week, so I didn't get into anything else. So I'm waiting, wait, wait. waiting this week to get into something. Yeah. So uh, pay attention. Um, good, good job. Being, listen, waiting patiently for the next move. That's smart trading. That's exactly what we want to do. Okay. So you guys are building some discipline. All right. We don't want to just just get in and just randomly trading. So it's good to see that you guys are, are waiting. All right. Good job. Good job. So those dollar, those dollar pairs, they were still, because I'm looking at this on my phone, so it's a little small. But the dollar pairs were still uh down, right? In red, but you're saying to just watch the dollars. So the dollar pairs, they they did pull back. All right. Yeah. Um, okay, Tracy. Where's Tracy? Did Tracy leave? Okay, so Tracy just got a buy signal right here. All right. So we oh. were just talking about, so she just got a buy signal here. All right, dollar can. So if you, if you guys wanted to take a position in the dollar, right? 
here is a here is a early trade right here. So Carlos, if you want it, if you want to take this, all right. Here is a, a decent trade right here. All right. I can't believe Tracy left. This is perfect timing. All right. Okay, I'm I'm here. I'm here. Okay, hey Tracy. <laughs> 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 so <laughs> All right, so your 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 dollar can. All right, you were a bit uh -huh. early, but guess what? You got a buy signal right here. Just came in. Okay. 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 Great. Yeah, it just came in. So, um, and look here. Um, it's, it it just broke resistance. All right, so had resistance here, resistance uh -huh. here, resistance here, and guess what? It's broken breaking resistance right here. And okay. you get a buy signal. See how quickly this happens, guys? You got a buy signal right here. Because we just discussed this like five minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's how quickly it can happen, even on a four-hour time frame. Isn't that something? Yeah. yeah. Even okay. on a, a four-hour time frame. So you did good. You just didn't wait for the buy signal, but you knew it was coming. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. So let's analyze this here. All right, understand that sellers are, uh, are sitting here. All right, this is why they, they push the price down lower. Here, they're all also sitting here. They push the price down lower. And guess what? They pushed it down lower here. Okay, so what we need to have happen, it's here it is again, testing resistance with a buy signal, testing resistance right here. All right, the good thing you've got on your side is that you've, it's making higher lows. So we know it's moving higher, all right? Making higher lows, all right? We know we've got resistance right here. Here it is, right at resistance, okay? Price is being squeezed a bit, right? It's being squeezed. So we have a triangle right here, right? It's being squeezed. So hold on to it, but we need it, right? We need it, Tracy, to break through and hold, all right? We need it to break through and kind okay. of hold, stay above here, stay above here. Okay. Above this resistance. If it, if it, comes back if it breaks comes back just watch it closely all right okay all right and we want it to we want it to hold build okay and and move higher but it, it is just know that sellers are still sitting here sellers are sitting here all right aggressive <laughs> sellers are sitting here to push the price to push you lower okay, okay. but good good job a bit early but guess what it came in <laughs> <Just me. laughs> um, okay. all right so i want to show you i want to show you one other thing to give you some confidence right we know the dollar um and guys if you have any questions just everyone else um this is this is how we do this so this is how we learn all right so we're going to move it to the daily time frame okay to see what's a what's 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 ahead? Okay, Tracy. Okay, okay, so we've got really good. This on the daily time frame, and we know the dollar is moving higher, so we have the dollar on in our favor. We have pretty good support. I mean, yeah, we have pretty good resistance right here. This on the daily time frame now. Okay, so we have more confirmation that we tested. Here is resistance. Here is resistance. Here is resistance. And this is on the daily time frame. This is where the sellers came in before, came in before, came in before. And here we are now testing it again. Okay. But okay. here also, right, we got higher lows. So we know price buyers, every time it gets lower, buyers are coming back in. Buyers are coming back in and they're moving the price higher and hopefully to push this price up. All right, that's the daily time frame. So we know okay. the we know the two forty setting up the daily time the daily setting up also. Let's take a quick look at the weekly. All right, see what's let, let's see what it's doing on the weekly. 
on the weekly time frame. Okay, look at this on the weekly time frame. Look at this on the weekly time frame. All right, we still our our wait, trading window is still on the on the two forty, but this will help. This will help. And this is why we want to take a look at the trades you guys have, okay? So um, to help you guys analyze things. And by doing this, guess what? We reduce the emotion, right? And we can look at trading in a logical manner. All right. <clears throat> On the weekly time frame, Tracy and everyone here. Yeah. All right, we've got pretty good. This on the weekly time frame. This goes back all the way back to 2021. All right, so resistance. Okay, we'll even count this here. All right, resistance. This was a buy signal here on the weekly that failed. Resistance. You currently have a buy signal. It held, it pulled back, it held. And guess what? Look here, green candles. Guess what? You're breaking out. Okay, so Tracy, on the weekly time frame, you are breaking out of this resistance here, which is pretty strong resistance. All right. Okay. There is this candle here, right here. All right. And look here, you've got higher lows. Higher lows. Okay. And okay. being squeezed, right? Being squeezed higher lows all right so whenever the sellers come in guess what buyers are pushing it back up pushing them back up all the way so we started all the way down here and look where we are all the way up here okay okay so that's encouraging for your trade all right and then this area here is a big area you guys see that everyone else you guys see this this right here this was support right support becomes resistance this right here is a big area all right now if she can get that if she can get buyers to come in again this is on the weekly time frame um she doesn't have any real concern about till about up in this area here on the weekly time frame that's a big move that's a big move that could happen okay so good job good job okay Trey. okay all right thanks david you're welcome. You're welcome. All right. Any other trades? We've got another five minutes or less. Any other trades you guys want to take a look at? Any other trades? You guys don't David, have to can you it. take a quick look at gold, the gold market? Gold. All right. Let's take a look. All right. Um, I can tell you there isn't much happening in gold, um, but we'll take a look um let's see the sectors here we don't have why is our well, hold on one second here uh we can put in gld um i don't know why it's not here okay so gld uh gld and then silver we'll put in slv to slv uh, GLD. I wonder if there's a good short opportunity. Oof, I tell you, um, gold and silver hasn't been a good trade, long or short. Um, it's they've been, you know, um, consolidating a bit. Um, this is GLD right here on the daily. All right. Um, where is gold? Where is gold right now? Um, uh, it was at seventeen twenty on Friday, right? Seventeen twenty. It was okay. down there. Okay. Um, let's do this. Let's bring in a short signal. Are you looking to? How are you looking to short it? You looking to short the GLD or uh, 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 stock gold stocks? Um, I think we did a short on the GLD several months ago on a yep. short term that turned out pretty good. Remember? Yep, yep. 
Yep. So let's see here. Um, if we took, if we look at a short on the daily time frame, um, we don't have a sell short, a short. I mean, we don't have a short signal yet. Okay. We did. It closed here. And this is where the market was trying to make a move higher, but now we're moving lower. Um, uh, let's see on the 240 bill. Let's see here on the 240. I wouldn't short it on the daily. Um, let's see here, 240. Uh, 240, we should have a sell short signal on the 240. All right, Ooh, no sell short signal on the 240 yet. All right. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, so, but it's gone down quite a bit uh, on the daily. See here, see, it's gone down. It had two shorts on the daily, two short signals on the daily already. Um, let me, let's pull in an RSI to see. Um, it looks like it's oversold. Um, it's probably too late, Bill, um, to do anything. Um, ad study. Let's take a look at RSI. And guys, we'll end with this unless there's something else. All right. Um, so it's not oversold. It was oversold here. Right, Bill? It's not oversold. But I wouldn't touch it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't touch it. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't touch it. Okay. Um, Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Hey, David, it, it, what's my target on that USD Swiss franc? Uh, dollar Swiss. Okay, yeah. let me take a quick look. Um, baby. Okay, so dollar Swiss. That's what I see. What is a good target on that? Okay, it's um, two forty. Yeah. Tracy, I am liking. Where's Tracy? I'm liking her trade here. Um, all right, let's see here. All right, 240. Okay, Gerald. Um, dollar Swiss. Uh, so dollar Swiss. Are you in it yet? No, no, that, there's no buy signal on it. Okay, good job. Okay, so um, you'll get a buy signal soon. All right, um, you'll get a buy signal soon. Um, you get a buy signal. You'll get a buy signal if it continues to move higher overnight. Kind of just like um, Tracy just give a buy signal. That's coming in soon here. Um, as far as a target, let's say you got a buy signal here. Um, let's take a look at the daily. Um, oh. That's pretty tough trading. Yeah, but let's let, we're gonna clean it up a bit, and okay. so you'll see here. Um, so here, look at this here, right? And um, let's see here. Da, 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 da. So it's breaking out of a channel here, all right, on the daily. And then we'll move it. Um, all right, so if you look here, and everyone, so it's in a channel, right? and. Here's your channel here, all right? Here's the bottom here, bottom here, bottom here of your channel. Here's the top, top, and guess what? Is Gerald is looking to break through that top of that channel here, okay? 
all right on the, on the daily time frame on the daily time frame all right and then hopefully um i would say here okay um not great right yeah, not great not. sellers <laughs> sellers could come back in right here and then bring it down kind of like here kind of like it did here before like it did here before so anytime it gets to the top of that channel we want to be careful right because sellers could come back in and bring it back down to the bottom of the channel all right let's take a week let's take a look at the weekly time frame you see how different this is very different than um the one we looked at for tracy right okay yeah uh very different um, this is a lot more i would say more a lot more riskier uh let's take a look at the weekly time frame Oof. yeah mm. tough tough gerald tough look at all of this consolidation in here you got to get past you got to get past all of this i don't like this one um, yeah this, this is a pretty tough trade yeah even if you got lucky, right, you're going to get a lot of pushback. Look at this here. Look at this. You know, you, you, it's, you won't get clean trading until you get above here. All right. But you got to get all past all through this, all through this, right? You see here, just a, yeah, not very clean. Um, definitely don't like this one as much. Um, I just appreciate your eyes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it is what it is. Um, on the um, on the monthly time frame. Now, um, if you look here, like, like I said, you got to get past through all of that, and getting past through all of that would be here. So you got to get past through. Um, look here, Gerald. Um, and this is a good exercise to do. This is how you find the, the really good setups by doing this. You don't have to do this for every trade, but um, it's good to do this. If you look here, and every, everyone, um, you see here, right? So here's the price right here, right? You know, you're right in the middle of all, all of this tough consolidation right here, all right? So you would have to get past here, okay? And then, then you're good. All right, but I wouldn't trade it in here. Okay, which is where it is currently. All right. Yeah, very tough. Now, now the good the good news is is that because it's got very tight consolidation here, very rough terrain, once it breaks out, then then it, it, it you could really get a good trade out of it. Okay? But it has to break out first. Okay. All right, guys. That's it. That's it. Okay. All right. So what's happening? Moving forward this week, our stock traders, be very, very careful. If you're long stocks, all right, especially if you're trading stock boss, bull master, we want to we wanna slow things down a bit. Okay. Watch your, watch your individual trades, all right? If you have a, a white candle, red candle, don't play with those, all right? We want, we want to protect capital, all right? So watch those trades. If you're solidly in the markup phase, green candles, solid, right? Then you can still hold, but pay close attention to how it's, how it's trading, what's happening on a day-to-day -day basis throughout the week all right um charity you and stella in particular all right um charity i know you pull back on some of your trades okay stella but be careful with those trades okay be careful because we could really see some selling hopefully you know things move around change a bit um but that's not what we're showing on the charts okay so just be careful um crypto traders um it looks like we're going lower on bitcoin all right so be careful dollar for monster scalper traders you guys have done really good hold staying on the sideline 
once you guys get some buy signals on the dollar pairs, all right, um, you can you can look for some opportunities, all right. And uh, if you guys have any concern about anything, just just you know you know how to contact me, all right, all right, all right. So important week, lot of information, lots lots are going on. Keep an keep an eye on the VIX. Keep an eye on the VIX. The VIX is at twenty five, right? If we get a lot of volatility this week. We could see the VIX move up in the 30s, guys, and we can see that happen pretty quick. Remember, we're still in the markdown phase in the equity markets, all right? We had a bear market rally. Things can turn around really, really quick, all right? We're still in the markdown phase in the equity markets, all right? Take care. Um, be careful out there, all right? Be careful out there. Switch your hats. Right. If you were thinking long, think short, especially with the equity markets. Those of you who trade in stock, um, Sniper, all right, we'll, we'll send you the alerts tomorrow. Um, hopefully we gap down and um, we can take some profits and then um, and then wait. All right. All right, guys, take care. Thanks. Have a good week. Have a good week. If you need me, um, just uh uh, contact me. Okay. Take care. Have a good evening. Take care. Bye-bye. Good night. Thanks, David. Good night, guys.